Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. Wait, no, I meant my physics video. Today we're talking about motors. Not those motors. Electromagnetic motors. Specifically the Newman motor made by Joseph Newman. The Newman motor works by having a copper wire wrapped around a tube to make a solenoid, and a magnet sitting on an axle above it. When a current is sent through a straight conductor, it creates a circular magnetic field around it. Since the solenoid has a straight conductor wrapped around many times, the magnetic field is amplified, and the field lines resemble that of a bar magnet. This magnetic field created becomes very attractive. God damn it Carl that's not my line. Anyways, the solenoid attracts the magnet on the axle, which rotates the magnet. As the magnet starts to rotate the current is stopped, but the magnet keeps moving slightly due to its momentum. Once it makes it around a certain point, the current is turned back on again which causes the magnet to keep rotating. Here is a small demonstration of the motor. Isn't it so kawaii? In day 2 day use, the Newman motor works the same as any other DC motor. It can be used in motorized toys, electronics, and even in cars. Except since the Newman motor is very oddly shaped it is highly impractical. This is why it is mostly used as a generator. What is a generator you ask? Well, first things first I'm the realist. Holy shiri Macau. IGG why do you do this to me? Anyways. A generator works opposite to a Newman motor. In a Newman motor a current in a copper coil creates a magnetic field. Whereas in a generator, a changing magnetic field induces a current which can then be stored as energy. The magnet induces a current by pushing the electrons in the copper wire. The magnetic field must keep changing otherwise the electrons will move a small bit and then stop moving. If you enjoyed this video, click here to see some more physics related videos. Oh by the way, Carl. You are fired.